Okay, that's done and dusted. Tulin is... I kind of thought that his boost would help us soar higher, but I guess at the end of the day, it does do that because we're able to stay... Le or, yeah, we're able to be higher when we reach our destination. I guess I can also use it in combat to a certain degree. I don't know why he didn't follow me there. But yeah, I can, I can activate it and then aim him. That's kind of neat. It's not crazy. It's definitely not crazy, but... And it has combat utility, unlike Riju, who really... No, no, I guess she kind of does too, but it's... It's very, like, parasitic uh, out of combat utility, because with Riju... You need, like, lightning rods, which are only found in one area. Also, the sound effect that when he activates it sounds extremely re reminiscent of the, uh, the horse grass from Twilight Princess. It almost feels like it's the same sample. Actually, you know, that's, that's a fun little thing, a fun little anecdote for me to mention while I'm just kind of wandering around, not really doing a whole lot. Um, tags. Tags that we've had as we, as we have, as we have grown up. I kind of am interested if you're fine sharing those, because I know some people might necess not not necessarily want to, because uh, it kind of creates a, it can create a paper trail to their, you know, their previous personas. But if you're comfortable sharing them, please do, because I've gone through my own little journey of of tags before I I landed on pal plays. So when I was a little kid, um, something that I I really became drawn to video game music because it didn't have words. Uh, I have, it's an undiagnosed but very noticeable um, minor speech processing issue. Uh, and it's, it's not with how I talk, it's with how I hear things, that understanding lyrics for me was very difficult growing up. And so because of that, I actually didn't really listen to any music at all until I was, I was in a, a teenager. Uh, once I got my iPod uh, as a, a kid in, like, you know, 2013 or something, an iPod Touch, um, I then started, like, recording game music because downloading it was weird then, uh, at least for me, being fairly new-ish to the internet. Um, and so I download music and or record it off of games. Uh, so the reason why I mention this is because... I, I was very auditory and I focused on sound effects and of course being a, a young boy, you know, we, we all made our, our sound effects as children. Very good. Oh, that's gonna stop me from being able to kill him, I think. Got him, okay. Um, I was very fixated on sounds, not necessarily words and music. Uh, and so growing up, I actually had a really bad stutter, and you can hear that stutter in my very in my earliest videos. And you think every now and then I do stutter now, but it's so much better than it used to be because of this channel in part. And when I don't record, I often find that little bits and pieces of the stutter comes come back. Uh, you know what? I've experimented with the like like stone, and it's while it works in a pinch, isn't nearly as good as this. So we're going to use this. So, <clears throat> growing up, uh, playing Mario Kart Double Dash, uh, I, since there are only four tracks in that game, or four cart, uh, cups in that game, I would see the credits an awful lot. And there was a name I saw in the credits, which was Taro Bando. Also, I really hope that I, uh, that I'm able to include this in one episode. I might have to cut very strangely to make sure this, this happens. Taro Bando, which is uh, one of the sound effects designers for Nintendo working at the time. And I just, for some reason, latched onto that name. And I ended up seeing it in a couple games of that console generation. I think I, I think the last generation I saw it in was the Wii U. And now it seems like he might have retired. And just, he's literally just a random sound, sound effect tech. So it, it's not like he's a lead designer. I just noticed the name because I was fixated on sound effects and music. And... Koji Kondo is a name that everyone knows, you know, and <laughs> I, I love all of his music. So, all that to say, uh, when it came time for me to actually have a tag in games, I gravitated towards Tario because it was so close to Mario and Taro Bando uh, that I, I had my own little, you know, childish 
persona. My idea was that it was a, a hat with a T that was that was blue instead of red. Um, and it was just, you know, the, the baby's first tag. Uh, I need to hit this, right? Forget how I actually launch this. Do I need to cut it? Does it need slashing damage? Yes, it needs slashing damage specifically. And... Got it. So Tario was my very first tag, and I don't- I didn't really use it online, it was just when I was playing games that used a tag, I used Tario. And then, um, later on, I was still a child, uh, there was a- man, I'm just talking about the origin of the channel at this rate. Is this a hot spring? It is. Uh, growing up, I... I had a, uh, we had some woods near our house that we dubbed Nature Discovery Ho uh, Park next to Forest Haven and the Forbidden Woods, you know, Wind Waker stuff, although Nature Discovery wasn't. Um, and eventually one of those was torn down, Nature Discovery Park, the favorite one that was right next to my house. And at the time, there was a, like, uh, an animated, like, Bible series, Christian series, called, uh, Guardian Force that depicted a bunch of angels, and one of them was named Paladin. And so I really gravitated towards that name, and as, uh, crime kind of started to move into our neighborhood now that we weren't sh sheltered by these woods, and us being kids and, you know, being interested in kid stuff, we started keeping track of the license plates of everyone who came into our neighborhood. In fact, I still remember one. Um, and in fact, some of our vigilance led to a couple of arrests. So it was, it was something that was very, like, it was very active and present in our lives. Uh, and so I named, uh, my German Shepherd, uh, at the time, Knight. Uh, he was actually, his full, like, uh, na his full name on the papers was Goodnight Paladin of Ravenwood. And then when it came time to, for me to make a channel, following in the vein of Stephen Plays, who is the, really the influence that, that drove me to decide to Let's Play and do commentary, I named my channel Pal Plays. Plus, I really liked how how well Hey Guys and Gals, I'm Pal uh, flows off the tongue because it rhymes. Um, guys and Gals have al has alliteration, which is why a lot of people gravitate towards it as an intro. But the Pal part kind of made it uh, special. It's a, it's a, its own special thing. Uh, I was down there. I was not down here. Wait, I'm on the north side already? Wow. Okay, well there's a cave over here. At least there was in Breath of the Wild. I'm interested to see what there is, is there now. So I gravitated towards Pal, or Paladin, because uh, long, long time members of the channel will know that Paladin is not my my given name, but honestly, at this point, just as many people know me as Paladin as they know me by my given name. Uh, yeah, that's, oh, oh actually, uh, before Paladin, I went by Dark Star Storm, and in fact, there is, if you go to my a lot of my older videos, you'll see something cited uh, in the video description. Ow, that was dirty. That was dirty. Thanks, Riju. You'll see that I actually had a second channel called Dark Star Storm, and that was my tag before uh, before Pal Plays ended up being, uh, which referenced uh, Earthbound, and also was the obligatory uh, late 2000s, early 2010s uh, teenage dark tag, which I try to forget about, but all of us had. All of us, at least of my generation, I know we have Gen Alpha at this point, I think. Uh, had that tag. Uh-oh. These are Eminies. Uh, Riju, where are you? Can you please get in here? With your body? Please walk in here. There are a lot of enemies here. Let's give him a nice, a nice warm welcome. That's a Bakoblin. Looks to be like a silver one. Let's melt a couple at once here. What a nice nose you have. Read you, read you, read you. Don't do that. Oh, there are people beneath us. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's been a while since I've taken any pictures. Blue Bakoblin. Bye. Oh, and that lit the campfire. Sweet. Uh, let's get let's get a stabby weapon ready. Actually, this is a topic that I 
I actually have talked about in the series before, but I ended up cutting it out, strangely enough. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Bye. Okay, uh... These are just rocks. I actually have a new tag that I briefly, upon my return, considered renaming the channel to, but ultimately, I've gone by PAL plays for so, so incredibly long um, on on YouTube, or in YouTube, around YouTube, that I, I know I have a lot of old subscribers that returned. A lot of you, a lot of the most avid commenters are, are were avid commenters during the Breath of the Wild LP, and I didn't want them to suddenly see a new video by, uh, by Lemonado, which is my kind of new tag, at least where Smash is concerned in a lot of games, um, and say, and, you know, not know who it was. Okay, there's a chest. Clearly, there is a way to continue. I think it's there, and there are enemies trapped down below. So we're going to be rescuing them, and then Rescuing them into their death. And if I recall, there was a statue. It was one of the great dragon statues. Or Leviathan? Leviathan, that's what they're called. Should probably be careful here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go in guns a blazing. Let's let's prepare a puff shroom. Wait for it, wait for it. Ready, set, three, two, one. Let's jam. Da 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 da. Okay. Don't. Uh, oh, I have this, I have this. Should be able to hit them both. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Okay, now that he's dead. Uh, let's make use of something that has real damage. He doesn't have a weapon. Nor will he ever. Nor... Will he ever. Uh... This. I don't know if there's another enemy behind me. I'm good. I'm good. Perfect. They were legitimately trapped here. Royal shield, let's go. Drop this piece of garbage. Pick up the, there. These knight's bow, horns. There should be more here. Why is there that? What is that? Is that? This. Oh. Stars above. Actual shrine. This is not how this cave looked in... You know what? Maybe this isn't the cave that led to the, the statue. I don't actually remember. Otak Shrine. Uh-oh. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Duly noted. Proving grounds, traps, arrows, old wooden bow, thick stick, double check, just, I forget how this works, yeah. It strips our inventory entirely. I need to rely, not on my camera, on probably fuse? And fire. Be stealthy, be stealthy. That pillar is over there. Almost looks like we need to break that pr pillar to proceed in some way. Oh. Hide. They don't see us anymore. I think we're good. Make sure I'm not blindsided. There we go. Whoa! Oh. Okay, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Hit me. Got him. We'll get his really good weapon. Oh, okay, be 
careful, be careful, be careful. Come on, buddy. And their attacks are weird. But I need to get the timing of these things. Ow. Okay. One more hit. Got it. Okay. He turns the weapon right before he swings it. Nice. Now that he doesn't have a weapon, we're just going to do this. That didn't quite work. Ah! Okay. Well, I tried to start him on fire. He's dead. Take out Fuse. I probably should have fused that with my other one, but I'd rather have two semi-good weapons than one really, really good weapon. Because I'm going to get another part. Move, move, move. He's dead. It looks like they want us to use the fire here. Um, drop. Old wooden bow, is that better than what I have? No. Yeah, the fire isn't part of the puzzle. It's just uh, a weapon at our disposal. I can at least do this. I can at least do this. That didn't hit him. That's not good, run! He has a face mask. Okay, well, I kind of lost one of my opportunities here. That They're very scary. Okay, I need to kill this guy. He's dead. They're following me. Okay, the face mask isn't armor. This is good practice for me. One. Two. Three. Whoa! Nice. Got the dodge. This'll kill him. Uh, Zonite shield. Nice. I have a shield. I have a shield. I have a shield. No archers as well. Spiky club. Yeah, I'll use that. I have four arrows. Got him. All right. We're good. Uh, there's one more remaining, but I have an app to deal with him. Where is he? I could, I'd probably need to use this on the pillar. Yeah, I need to use this on the pillar. That's fine, I have these. Get up so I can kill you again! Huh. Got him. <sighs> Your equipment will be returned to you. You cannot keep the equipment you found, because... It's mine. You stupid igno ignoramus, you. I wonder if I keep the charges. Also. Oh, there are boulders up there. Odd. Um, oh, they... I know what they want me to do. They intend... I could have used uh, Ascend here. That's fine. They intend for you to use the rocks on them, but... It really just didn't work out. Uh, where is the... Okay, there's no secret chest in these. Yeah, there's no secret chest, because the chest, they reward at the end of the shrine. And the reward of the chest that the chest is protecting is a mighty construct bow with durability up. That's just as bad as my other bows, but I'll... Very good. 